Well, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. I hope that I find you very well. And thank you very much for popping over just to see what I made for the tea last night. And this was absolutely delicious. It's such a wonderful combination, isn't it? Cauliflower and cheese and a brilliant way of using up things, you know, that you might have languishing in your vegetable drawer. I had some cauliflower I badly needed to use up and I had everything else. So I said, I'm just going to make a quick cauliflower cheese soup and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. I wasn't planning on doing a video, but yeah, I just thought I'd pop it up and let you see because it's just one of these things. It's so quick and easy to make and it's such a short video. As usual, everything that I'm using will be in the description box underneath the video and this makes such a lot of soup and it's perfect for freezing as well. You will get between six and seven good bowls of soup from this. So if you want to make less, just half the ingredients. But let me go and show you how I put this beautiful soup together. So grab your cauliflower. I've got three heads of cauliflower here. Just discard the outer leaves and cut them into quite small florets. Go over to your cooker, use whatever oil you prefer. Get it nice and warm and chuck in your onions and also a wee dash of salt. This is going to help draw out the moisture in your onions and help those sweat for about five minutes till they go nice and translucent. Throw in your cauliflower. And then your garlic. You can use fresh garlic, powdered garlic, garlic salt, you know, whatever garlic you like. And then your potato and let this all come to the boil. And then once it's at the boil, reduce your heat to a rolling simmer and give that about half an hour. You'll know it's ready when your potato breaks up nice and easily. Everything else will be ready as well. Now you can pop this into a stand blender if you like. I'm just going to use a stick blender and just blend this to your own liking. I blended this probably 98% of the way. There's still a couple of bits floating around in there, but you can blend it all the way if you like, or don't blend it at all. It's entirely up to you, but I like the velvety smooth texture. And just at the end, with the heat off, I add in my cream and cheese. Again, the cheese you use is up to you. I'm using a strong cheddar, but you could use Parmesan or Stilton or whatever you like. You just want to stir that until all your cheese has melted. You may or may not have to put the heat back on. I didn't need to. There's enough heat in there already to melt the cheese and now you're immediately going to serve this. It's beautiful. Look at that lovely velvety texture. And to that I just added some black pepper, another wee bit of cheese, a few chives and served simply with some lovely crusty baguette with proper butter on the top. And we actually had this for our tea and everybody else had rolls with bacon and a wee bit of um, bacon on top of the soup as well. And let me tell you, that was beautiful. But just before I move on, a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. So thank you once again guys and yesterday this soup was needed. Look at those hailstones that were coming down like footballs. You know the, 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 the weather the previous day was a glorious, the sun was shining, people were walking on the beach but yeah this was the weather yesterday. It's just so unpredictable, it's so crazy at the moment that one day you can have beautiful weather and the next day it's like a winter's day. Wait till you hear this, I'm going to put the sound down. coffee every day you know down to the beach and this was us just on the way back from the beach and now we're at Sainsbury's here are just ready to get into Sainsbury's but look at all those hailstones there I just couldn't believe it I said I've got to capture this and let you see because the contrast between the day before and this was just crazy but yeah getting back to the recipe that's an absolutely beautiful soup very very easy to make very quick to make you can make this in like half an hour 45 minutes and it just tastes beautiful like I said the addition of the bacon was really nice as well so I will leave everything in the description box if you want to go and make that for yourself and do let me know if you decide to make it and follow me over on Instagram if you're not following me yet over there I am what's for t3 and you'll find me over there it'd be lovely to see you so whenever you choose to join me again guys mind to take care of yourselves have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you off as soon back here on a hopefully sunnier what's for tea. So bye for now. Bye now.